Hey guys, in this video we will cover another objective for the MO200 exam and namely how we can reference named ranges and named tables in formulas. Before we start, as always, I encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new training content. And now let's begin. So on this sheet, I have created this table that contains, let's say, average monthly temperatures in Celsius in country one and two. And we'll look into how we can reference those table column numbers and values in some formulas. So let's say here we want to enter the difference between those two temperatures and we don't want to enter it absolutely, meaning B3 minus C3, but we want to use the named references. So for that, let's firstly use the absolute function so that the difference is positive. And the only thing that you need to do is to click those values. And as you can see, it automatically references the entire let's say column values and named reference instead of using like this absolute value. So let's click enter. And one thing to notice is that it automatically fills out all of the, all of the column values, let's say. And the difference is always seven because I actually created the numbers in this column by uh, subtracting seven. Okay, now let's, for example, use the, these values to get the average yearly temperature. We type average and select those numbers. And as you can see, it doesn't select or insert only a named range, but instead a named reference, so table one, country one. Let's click enter, perfect. We can do that also here and we are expecting a value that is this minus seven, so let's select those, perfect. So that is how we can use the named references. Remember, it's relatively easy, you simply need to click the right values on the worksheet. And let's perhaps look into the named ranges and values. So as we have already covered, to create a named range, uh, we need to select the cell or the range of cells. And here in the name box, uh, give it a name. So let's say Dece December 1, enter. Perfect. And let's say that we want to convert this number to Fahrenheit. So for that, we'll use the convert formula. And you certainly don't need to know that for the exam. Let's insert the number in the referenced form. So either we can type uh, December 1, and as you can see, the Excel autocomplete recommends that. Or you could go to the formula tab and click use in formula your named uh, reference. Then we type, uh, so we can want to do conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit like that, enter, and that's it. So this is how we used the reference named ranges and name tables in formulas. I hope you find it useful and easy. If so, smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.